In this video, I'm gonna show you the best way of finding which long calls to buy. And you may have heard in the past that like buying long calls isn't a smart strategy. If you're gonna trade options, make sure you sell options. It's much smarter. People who buy long calls lose money, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm gonna show you that if done correctly, buying calls could be one of the most profitable strategies out there. And uh, in this video, I'm gonna make a pretty clear case for why that's the case. All right, let's get into it. I think one of the main reasons that like buying calls has gotten a bad rap is because most people do it wrong. Uh, what I've, I've seen is most traders, most newer traders, they go to like the weekly option that's like seven days away and they buy far out of the money calls and their win rate is super low. You know, occasionally they'll hit a home run and they'll get a good payout, but you know, the win rate is so low and, and the results are so inconsistent that it's just not a viable long-term strategy. So it, it, it kind of is a sucker's bet at that point for those kind of trades. But there are better ways to buy calls. But strike selection and expiration date selection is very important. And I'm gonna show you how to find that in this video. I'm gonna be using Market Chameleon for this and what I'm using is a premium feature. But even if you don't have that, you can still follow along and you're gonna get a lot of good information from this video anyway. So I'm over here in Market Chameleon now and I'm gonna show you how to find the, uh, the best calls to buy. But first, I just wanted to, to make something clear that when you're buying calls, this is like, you know, the, the most bullish of bullish strategies. Like if you're not completely bullish on something, don't bother buying long calls. That's the bottom line, because in a straight up bull market or in a, in a stock that's like going up a lot, there's no better strategy out there than just a straight up long call. But, you know, in a bear market, long calls, aren't, they're not going to do well. Just put it that way. So make sure that, you know, the market conditions are good before you start thinking about buying long calls. Like right now in the current market conditions, I don't know how into buying long calls I am, but I just wanted to make this video for you so you could see when when you think that the market, you know, conditions are favorable to this sort of strategy or, or when a stock, when you're super bullish on a stock, that's when you wanna be doing long calls. For these examples, I'm gonna be using the QQQ, that's the NASDAQ 100 ETF, and uh, Microsoft and then Tesla. I find you know stocks like these perform really well when doing long calls. You know you want something that has a little bit of implied volatility to it, so you know it actually has a chance to move up a lot in the time frame that you that you choose. So you don't want something that's too boring that won't move up a lot because then you know your payoffs are going to be much smaller. So, but when implied volatility is a little higher, you might pay a little more for the option up front, but your chances for getting you know big home runs they're they're a lot higher over time. Your returns will be higher for long calls and stocks like that as I'm gonna show you right here. So let's first start with QQQ. And once you get into this uh, summary page, just go into options, then go into option chain. And this feature is so awesome. This is probably gonna blow your mind. Uh, let me show you here. So you choose the expiration date. And so for QQQs, there's like a million expiration dates. I'm just gonna go with this one. It's like, uh, it's next week's. It says, uh, Market Chameleon uses um, trading days. So it says five days left, but this is seven days away. So what you do here, here's just a straight up option chain, regular option chain like you're used to seeing, it has delta over here and applied volatility and IV percentile. But uh, if you go into here, click the back test button, this is where the magic happens. So now what, what this does is it like instant, instantaneously shows you like the win rate and the average return of every single like option strike out there for this expiration date. This is insane. Like, I don't know how this program, like, you know, as an app developer myself, I don't know how this program does this. Like this is, you know, this is a ton of data that's being crunched right here behind the scenes, but whatever, that's uh, that's not the point. So you can see from the, the win rate and the average return, like if you go down here, you see the win rate drops dramatically. These are out of the money options, far out of the money. And you see, you go from winning to losing. And unfortunately, this is seven days away and right where it starts to go into losing, this is where most people are, you know, especially newer traders, this is the options they're buying. So, you know, I can see why people call this a sucker's bet because it's pretty clear that this is kind of a sucker's bet, but it's not so much of a sucker's bet when you're going over here. Like things are a little different at that, at that point. Like this is the right, this is an at the money option right here with a 42% win rate, which is okay. It has a 6% return, which doesn't sound like a lot, but this is a weekly option and this isn't annualized. So go to yieldcollector.com, my site, and go to the calculators tab. And then over here, I have a little calculator for annualized returns. And so I'm going to do 6% right here and days in trade, I'm going to do seven because this is a weekly option. 
and press calculate. You know, it's a 312% annualized return. What this is doing, this is just like showing you the results. If it were doing this trade, you know, over and over again in the same types of conditions. Like if you click on either the long call average return or the win rate, it'll take you to the back test results. So what it's saying is it's buying a long QQQ call uh, with, and it's using the strike is 0.1% below the spot. And that just means that this strike is just 0.1%. It's pretty much at the money is what, is what this is saying. Like if you were, if, if you were back testing the out of the money one, it would say like strike is 5% below the spot or something, but this is pretty much, you know, at the money. So that's, it's calculating at the money. Look at this observations, 560. It's back testing 560 different trades and it's showing you the average return and the win rate for these. So you look at this, this is a chart of every single trade in this time frame from uh, 2017. So all the red ones are losses. And you'll, you'll notice when you're doing long calls, most of your losses are 100%. That's just the way it is. So you'll see a lot of 100% losses in here. But what you'll also see is a lot of the wins. Like this is 267%, you know, 226%. 246%, 330%. So a lot of the wins, like even though you're almost at like, you know, you're less than 50% win rate, but your your wins are so much higher than your losses because your losses are pretty much capped at 100%. But your wins, they're not capped technically. So, you know, you can have a lot of really, really big wins here. And during a bull market, your results are gonna be amazing with this strategy. There's, there's no way to beat this strategy just in a, in a straight up bull market. So that's how the QQQ fares at like, you know, seven days away. Let's see how it does at like three months away. Yeah, you see uh, Market Chameleon says 68 business days. It's like 90 days away. So let's just press the back test button and you see the win rate starts going up. So you're, you're more likely to have a winning trade at this uh, time frame, and your average return, you see it going up too, but this isn't annualized. So once we annualize it, that's how you can really tell, you know, an apples to apples comparison, if it's actually going up or, or going down. But take a look at this. As you go out of the money, look at this. Actually, you're not losing anymore. So, you know, this is an interesting situation right here. You still have, with the QQQs, you still have a decent win rate, pretty good actually. And your average return is still high and the options are a lot cheaper. So, you know, it's not necessarily a sucker's bet, you know, going out of the money, you know, 90 days away on something like the QQQs, because, you know, with these back tested results, you know, this is in the future, I can't predict the future, but this is what happened in the past. Like, let's click on this, this out of the money option right here. This is 3.1% above the spot price. So, and, you know, at 53% win rate, 65% average return, 90 observations. You know, look at all the losses, you know, pretty much 100%, blah, blah, blah. But look at all the wins, 322, 375. This one, 662%, you know, 492%. Like the wins are so great that it, it just, you know, it dwarfs the losses. And let's see what the, what this is uh, annualized. So it's a 259% annualized return. So, you know, that's pretty good for an out of the money, you know, call that's back tested, how many times? Uh, 90 times. So this isn't like some fluke trade or anything. This has been back tested a lot. And if you go show details, you can actually see, you know, every single trade that was happening. It shows all 90 trades. Like if you're, you're interested, you could look at all of them. And an interesting thing to note too, is if you could sort by start date, let me go to 2022. You know, you'll notice because 2022 was kind of like a dumpster fire for the NASDAQ. So you're going to see a lot of losers in here, which is, you know, bringing down the average quite a bit. So let me look at this 2022. Look at all these losers. This was a winner right here, but you know, hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent, like so many losers in a row. Next page. This is 2022. Then we're going into 2021, but you know, a lot of losers right in a row. Then you start getting winners again. So even with this humongous, like bear market losing streak that totally killed the, the, these results, this is still a highly profitable strategy. So what this is telling me is, you know, in a bull market, this is an amazing strategy. And in a bear market, don't even think about buying long calls like this. It's just, it's just not a smart move. So I think you kind of already knew that, but now there's some numbers to go with it. But you know, what was surprising to me when like doing research for this video 
was just how good the returns were for out of the money, you know, calls no, 90 days away. I knew seven days away, like out of the money calls were not a good, were not a good choice, but you know, 90 days away, it's actually, I don't know. These might be the most favorable choices out of all of them. So it's just always good to look at, you know, real world results from a tool like this, than just going by what you hear everyone else saying about something. Sometimes the conventional wisdom about a certain strategy or something is incorrect. And I think this proves that. And now uh, one more thing I wanted to show you while I'm on the QQQs is I'm going to go about a year away. So it's like a, a leaps um, expiration date just to see, you know, which was, which would be the best strike price if you're doing a poor man's covered call or something. This is actually kind of what I use when I'm choosing which uh, call to buy. So I'm going to go out to the January 2024. So you see the win rate gets super high as you get to like the Delta of about 70, you know, between 75 and 80. That's where I usually go. So these are really high win rates and the returns are, are really good, especially, you know, if you're doing a poor man's covered call, but you know, if you're doing just buying just a straight up leaps to actually just make money on without doing a poor man's covered call or anything, you could think about just going at the money or a little out of the money. Like these returns are, are pretty great. So. You know, after further consideration, the poor man's covered call wouldn't even be the best strategy. Maybe just buying a, you know, a slightly out of the money call would be the better strategy long term. It's not so clear cut as it as I thought it was. When I've been bullish on something, I just do like a poor man's covered call or a wheel strategy or a bull put spread or something. But like after just pretty much doing the research for this video, like I'm <laughs> next time a bull market comes, I'm more tempted just to start buying long calls just using this tool, to be honest. But uh, it gave me a lot to think about. But anyway, so this is a great way to uh, to choose whichever strike price you want to use for your poor man's covered call. And now I'm going to show you the results if uh, we're doing a stock like Microsoft. So Microsoft, I'm going to check the results for this one at uh, weeklies. And just, you know, it's pretty much the same story. For the weeklies, like the out of the monies, or, you know, it's just not a good play doing weeklies that are out of the money. That's, that's all it boils down to. Most of my tests for every stock I've ever tried, it's, this is pretty much it. For a lot of these stocks, you know, it, they, they vary a little bit, you know, for what strikes the best and, you know, what has the best returns and all that. But there's certain things that hold true for most, most of the stocks. And this is pretty much it. For the weeklies, I just wouldn't even touch these out of the money and far out of the money uh, strikes. It's just not worth it. But the at the money did very well and the end the money did very well. So, you know, annualized, this is a great return right here. This is 53%. This is 53% win rate at a 6% return. And just, you know, that's 312% annualized return. Not too shabby. And don't forget too, that this is including all of 2022, which was, you know, which was no good for buying long calls, but that, that's still the results, including that. And now let's go out to like three months away again. June and you see the same thing, you know, far out of the money is not good, but like a little out of the money is good and at the money is good. And you know, in the money's good, like this is just the long call is just a great strategy with Microsoft for three months away. What I've been noticing, like with a lot of these types of stocks is just, you know, it seems like three months away is a good sweet spot The you know, the options aren't too expensive, but the results are really good. And the win rates good. That's one of the major things I got out of doing this. And let me go to a leaps for a Microsoft. I'll check January. And so you look at the win rate, it's, you know, super high and the returns are really good. I mean, this is, this would have been, this is a great stock for poor man's covered calls. That's what this is telling me right here. But even if you're just doing straight up calls, you know, the leaps straight up call on Microsoft, you know, this, this performs really well, whether you're going out of the money, even far out of the money or, you know, at the money or in the money. It's just, it's just good all around. So this is good information to see, like, you know, you can't really miss. It seems like if you're doing the leaps on Microsoft in a bear market, obviously it's not going to do well, but you know, over, over time on average, this is a highly profitable strategy, but obviously that could change if we're in like a, a multi-year bear market or something, but you know, who, who knows who can predict that this is just showing us what happened in the past. So that's all we really have to go on. And last but not least, we have Tesla. So just like before, I'm going to do this one seven days away. High growth stocks like like Tesla and things like that. You see, you have the chance to like your profits can be insane. 
So you will see this right here. This is seven days away. And look at these returns. Like these aren't annualized. So let me just, <laughs> let me just like show you something like this, like a 46% win rate with a 15% average return. You know, that's a 782% annualized return with Tesla. You know, and that's including all the 2022 losses. This is, you know, stocks like Tesla, you have the potential. This is like life changing money you could possibly make just doing a good, solid, long haul strategy with something like Tesla. So that's something to think about. And if you go down here, you know, same story as all the others. Once you get to far out of the money, like winners become losers. That's just the way it is. So let me go three months out again, go to June and look at these returns. These are awesome. Right here, it starts to get up to about 50% win rate. That's where I kind of like, that's a sweet spot for me. But you know, you can actually go out of the money, the win rate's lower, but the returns are higher. So it depending, you know, on your style. I personally like higher win rate, I'll accept smaller, you know, smaller gains. So I'm gonna annualize this one, 51% win rate at 83%. Days in trade, this was a, a three month, so 90 days. Yeah, it's a 336% annualized return for uh you know what was that 51 percent that that's really good and now i'm gonna go out to a leaps just to uh, see what it is you know the win rate is pretty good you know like 60 percent or something but the returns are insane you know they're super high and the at the money like it's a 65 percent win rate with a 503 percent return i mean that's nuts and even like if you come out of the money the returns are still great and the winning percentage is still high so with a stock like Tesla, even though, you know, a leaps is super expensive because, you know, it has a high implied volatility, just, you know, that's, that's the way options work, but your chance of, of having a super profitable trade are also, you know, pretty high. And over time, this lo looks like an extremely uh, profitable strategy. So this is definitely something to think about next time you think that we're going to be in a bull market or you think Tesla is going to make a huge run up. You could decide which expiration is the best for you, but you know, I think I gave you some, some good choices here, some good things to think about with Tesla. So I hope this video gave you some good things to think about with regards to buying long hauls. And uh, I know during like the next bull market or when I think that's going to happen, I'm definitely going to be buying a lot more long hauls. Doing the research to this video kind of opened my eyes to how powerful the strategy could be. I don't necessarily always have to be selling options to make money, like by doing bull puts and poor man's covered calls and wheel strategy and stuff. Sometimes if you're really bullish on something, buying the long call is actually the best bet. And hopefully I got that across in this video. And uh, long calls don't necessarily deserve the bad rap that they have. And uh, if you want to try the premium version of Market Chameleon, uh, I have a link in the description. You can get a free seven day trial using that. And if you wanna see more dividends and options income content just like this, remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. All right, talk to you in the next one. Thanks.